Hey guys, oh, welcome to another video. I just want to start this video off by saying Happy New Year and I hope all of you had a great and safe New Year. Uh, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to download and install content for your Sims 4 game from the Sims resource. I have been asked to do this video by so many people those of you who do not know, I have a few tutorials out there for custom content and I've been requested to do this for quite a while but I didn't do it because the cheat move objects was not out yet and now it is so I think it's perfect timing because now your houses that are filled with different types of clutter and that use the cheat the official cheat you can actually put them in your game and your house won't be empty anymore so I thought it was the perfect time to show you guys how to download lots and sims and just objects from the sims resource and the first step to doing that would be to have a file opener as you can see on the screen right now I'm on the rarlab.com and this is where you get WinRAR from and I have WinRAR everyone has their own I don't know choice I guess not choice but their own a lot of people like different ones I personally love JZip the most but I also love WinRAR and right now I'm using WinRAR and I will link JZip as well in the description of this video but I just wanted to put that out there. There's a lot of different file openers and I know there's different tutorials on them all and they tell you which ones give you viruses and all of that so do your research and choose which one you think is best for you but you have to have a file opener. That's step number one and then I'm going to head over to vSims resource now and read you guys the instructions so you guys know for sure that I'm not giving you any false information. So right now I'm on the Sims Resource website and I'm in installing the Sims 4 downloads. You know, I'm in that part of their website just so I can read you guys the instructions that they have. And these are the instructions that I follow even before I saw this page on the Sims Resource. I did it like this so it does work for sure. So with your regular downloads like hair, clothing, makeup, objects, sets like dining rooms, bedrooms, bathrooms, and all of that, they all go into your documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4 mods folder. All of that can go straight into there. But if you are downloading Sims, period, not even from only the Sims resource, but from anywhere else like Tumblr, My Sims 4 Blogspot, if you download Sims from there, you have to put those items in your Documents, Electronic Arts, the Sims 4 tray folder, and along with the lots. So Sims and lots go into your tray folder, and everything else can go directly into your mods folder. And I'm going to show you how to do sets and lots in this. Just because if I do sims and lots, it's the same thing. So I'm going to do a regular mods folder download and then a tray folder download for you guys in this video. So right now, as you can see, I'm on a set called Peace of Heaven. And it was just uploaded today, so I do not have it. I actually have every single set from the Sims resource when it comes to objects. I have every single set on the Sims resource website. So I was so happy to see that there was one that I didn't have that, so I could use it as an example. Because I don't like reinstalling things into my game and taking them out. So th I was so excited to see that I don't have this one and it's really nice. It's a bathroom and I like it. Sim Credible Designs, they do amazing work along with the Sims 3 Sim Credible. Like they like I know it's the same person, but the designer or creator does fantastic with their stuff. So this is the bathroom. 
and it's nice. I like it. I want it in my game, of course, since I have every other one. And I know a lot of people have been asking me on my custom content videos, why do I like CC so much and why do I download so much CC? For The Sims 3, it's just because it's just gorgeous, you know. The Sims 3 is a completed game and it has a lot of content of its own. I like things to look way more realistic and that's why I love CC. And when it comes to The Sims 4, it's the same thing, but the graphics on The Sims 4 are way different than The Sims 3 and they do look more realistic to me personally, but I know everyone has their own opinion and I love the CC for The Sims 4 because there's not a lot of content as you guys know if you have the game and there's no expansion pack yet. There's no stuff pack. There's no anything yet. So I have filled my game with a lot of different content and I never run out of anything, especially since I love to build the most in the game. That's actually what I do. I don't really play The Sims 4, but I love to build in The Sims 4. So yeah, that answers the question of why I download so much CC. So you would just click download right here and whatever file opener you have, it would pop up in your file opener. So we're going to download it, which I already have, and it's right here. It would be a, if you have Renoir installed, it will say the Sim C TSR Piece of Heaven, and make sure it says that so you know you're downloading the right thing, and it would have a number for the zip file. It won't have the name of what you downloaded, so just make sure you go inside of it and read the different file names, and that's the right one. So we're going to close out that window, and then we're going to go over here to this tab that I have open, which has the Arc Home for download and I think it's really pretty I don't usually download homes from the Sims resource but I just wanted to show you guys how you would do that uh, this house is really lovely though and it looks pretty modern and it has a pool which is a plus and it was uploaded yesterday so yeah we're just gonna download this home and which I already have and it's over here and this the home downloads and the any type of lot download from the sims resource will have the name at the top of the files so it's not like the different objects or sets so the name actually will be on the top so make sure that it's the right home and then these files don't have names but you need every single one of these so don't delete any of them So once you've started your game, you will go into open up the gallery right away before you even start doing anything. Right here at the top where it says open gallery. And then go into my library. And you should be able to see all of your lots. And as you can see, the one that we just downloaded is or should be in here. And it is wanted and this is it this is the home that we saw on the sims resource and it's really nice and it has the pool that we want it has two bedrooms two bathrooms now you can see everything so that's it and once I know that the home is here I know that the sets are here too so don't I don't ever really double check that as long as one of the other is in there I know that I did it correctly and that's really it you guys that's how you make sure that the lot is there and, and maybe I should just show you guys how to check to see if your objects are there I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that okay you guys so we're in game and um, we're going to look for the items that we just got in that set and let's see we're gonna look in the bathroom stuff because it was a bathroom set and I think yep it got here because here's the sink and it's so cute I can't wait to put this in one of my bathrooms here's this very modern tub it's a little different I don't know if I like it I would probably pair this with this 
even though the woods don't match I would probably do that just because I don't like that tub but that is the tub that came with it that's the sink and I think it came with a shower as well and the shower is amazing 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 so the set got here so we checked to see if everything was here and that's good it's all here and you guys that is how you install and download things from the sims resource for the sims 4 and i hope this video was helpful and not too long or any of that so yeah if you guys have any questions just leave a comment message me directly send me a message on twitter however you want to contact me i try to get back to you guys as soon as possible so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys are having a great morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time of day it is when you watch this video, and I will talk to you guys all later.